Thursday throwback stories here. This is the last Thursday throwback story for a year. I'll be doing more next year if I continue YouTube. Pretty sure I will be continuing YouTube because a lot of people don't want me to go. So, I guess I'll be continuing YouTube. But, Thursday throwback stories. I'll continue uh, the stories in January. So, stay tuned. So, Thursday throwback stories here. Like I said, the last one for the year for 2024. Uh... It's just got a lot of other videos I got to do and stuff, and you know, I don't want to do too many videos. I like to like take a break every so often, so uh, this will allow me to kind of not do so many videos a week. But anyway, sorry, I don't know what the heck that was. Uh, anyway, uh, so this uh, is like I said, this is last Thursday throwback story for the year. So stay tuned for more Thursday throwback stories next year. Anyway, so. This Thursday throwback story takes place in 2016, and I was 28, uh, not 18 at the time, well, I was almost 19, this was when I was still 18, so my birthday hadn't, hadn't, uh, arrived yet, this was like early of 2016, this was like, in February or March, and it was kind of warm still, because, that year, like, uh, 2015 into 2016, it was really warm because we had, like, this system that, uh, came through the area, like, like, basically it was, like, through the whole entire northeast, it was, like, a, a weather pattern or something, I forgot what they call it, but it was, like, a, one of those years, like, it comes and makes, uh, and it didn't, ha it didn't happen since 1996, so this was, like, one of those years that every 20 years or whatever it would happen, and I think it's happening again very soon, I don't know, but, um, but, uh, it, uh, happened that year in 2015 and 2016, so the winter was really weird, I never had a winter that it was, like, 70 degrees in December, so, um, so, but it was, we were, we did have some snow, but we didn't have a lot of snow, we just had a little bit, and it was around February or March, maybe April, I don't know, I think it was around that time, and I, uh, I got a message from my friend Avery Heaney, which, as you know, he's got a YouTube channel, Avery Heaney TV, and he got me into trying all the other Mountain Dews, like, from his videos and stuff, I've seen all his videos, and this was when I was first starting to, um, this is when I first, um, it was only a year since I first started to talk to him, so, um, this is when he started to, like, look up gas stations and stuff and see which gas stations we had in the area because he was interested in if there was, like, 7-Elevens or anything up this way. And because he wanted to come up, because this was before we even met. This was before the 2016 um, when I met Avery at the, at the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, but this was way before that, so... He, he was interested to see what gas stations we had up here. Of course, we basically had just about everything they had down in Albany, but we had a little bit of different ones. And at this time, he searched up. He said 7-Eleven was in my area. It was on Irish Settlement Road, and he searched it up. And I said, okay, cool. So I was begging my father and my stepmother for, like, two weeks to ask them if they could bring me to search for the 7-Eleven, so finally they gave in, <laughs> finally they gave in, and they said, okay, well, we'll bring you, and we went all over Plattsburgh, we started up the Irish Settlement Road, and we went all the way up, and we tried to look for 7-Eleven, and actually, I was kind of confident that we were going to find a 7-Eleven, because I had never been up that road, so I didn't know if there was a 7-Eleven or not, but Basically, it took about two hours to finally realize there was no 7-Eleven. Then we stopped at this gas station that looked like a 7-Eleven, okay? This gas station had kind of a very similar, like, 7-Eleven look. Like, I've seen 7-Eleven, I've seen pictures of it. And I was like, oh, that must be a 7-Eleven. Maybe it just doesn't have the sign up or something. My dad went in, and he looked. He asked the, uh, the clerk, and she said, no, well... Well, the owner or whatever of the, of the, uh, of the, uh, business, he was like, well, 
there's supposed to be some eleven back in 1990s on this road or somewhere in Plattsburgh, but they never built it because there wasn't enough like uh, wasn't enough like people that wanted it, so they just never uh, developed the seven eleven. So, but we continued to look. We never we never found seven eleven because there never was a seven eleven. It was never developed and uh so that's the reason why there was never a 7-eleven because it never was developed so i don't know how the heck they said 7-eleven was up this way but i guess like search like searching uh like you know like google and stuff can be wrong sometimes so i'm sure that it must have been maybe like a, a hiccup or something and that's what happened and that's why it said there was a 7-eleven or something but there was never a 7-eleven to be honest, nowadays there actually is a 7-Eleven close to me, but it's all the way in Messina. Um, but I believe there's one in Messina. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's either Augensburg or Messina, but it's still not that close. It's still like two hours away from me. So it's not like, okay, I can just jump in the car and go there like two minutes from now. No, it's kind of kind of far away. And uh, it used to be like some 7-Elevens have acquired Sunoco's like some Sunoco's gas stations, but not all of them. So, but this was the time that I tried to find a 7-Eleven, my father and stepmother. And, uh, I was kind of, I was kind of bummed out at the time because I was like, oh, oh I wish I could find 7-Eleven because there was a Mountain Dew flavor at the time that I really wanted to try. It was called Mountain Dew Solar Flare and it was like a 7-Eleven exclusive and I really wanted to try it. But unfortunately, of course, I couldn't find a 7-Eleven, um, but but anyway, uh, that's the time to try to find a 7-Eleven. Thanks for watching these th Thursday throwback stories this year. Stay tuned for more next year.